Welcome to Havoc Street. And if you like what we're talking about, please join us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button. And specifically, if you like what I'm talking about, you can follow me on Twitter at JustAnalysis1. Taking a look here at Stellar Lumens, it's had a bit of a pullback today after having a pretty nice rise. In fact, the whole cryptocurrency market um, experiencing a little bit of a pullback that occurred right as you saw Ethereum get very, very, very close, just uh, depending on the exchange within a few dollars of the of the prior all-time highs. And so Stellar, uh, of course, not immune to that kind of pressure, is trading lower today, very close to the close, sorry, the uh, the open of yesterday's trading. But Stellar remains in a very good spot, uh, you know, especially if you if you look at it compared to its peers. Stellar Lumens has not made a new all time high yet. In fact, the last time it made a new all time high was all the way back in. Um, in uh, uh, 2018 or 2017, uh, depending on how you want to read it. But January 4th of 2018, some exchange data has a spike high somewhere in the very end of December. But January 2018 was the last time that Stellar made a new all-time high. On the Ichimoku chart, on the daily, we have a very, very nice setup here. Everything looks very bullish. You have uh, future span A above B. Price is above the cloud. It's above the just above the tank and send and the kitchen send right now. And more importantly, we have the lagging span above the candlesticks and above the cloud. So overall, everything here is very bullish still. The RSI is in bull market conditions. You have the composite index likely to uh, it is crossing down lower. That is the only kind of weak the weakness here that that we'll see is with the composite index dropping lower and the the um, optics bands coming off of those near extremes. So a little bit of a pullback here, not un uncalled for. Yeah, ideally what we would see is a return down to the um, 34 to 35 cent value area where you would see uh, some type of hidden bullish divergence show up. Now on the point figure charts, this is where it really gets to be a nice setup for uh, Stellar. So on the one cent three box reversal a point figure chart, we have a interesting condition here. So this last column of X's moved above the dominant downtrend angle, uh, the bear market angle and shifted us into a bull market. Now that first pullback from the break of a trend line is often a sign of strength. And so what we're waiting for here is a move above to create a double top at 42 cents with a possible entry zone at 43. The uh, entry would be some type of buy stop, buy limit, uh, buy market order at 43 with a stop loss down at 39 and the profit target is up at 57 cents. This represents a 3.5 reward to risk ratio. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.